for today class i will show you how to start building your overall scenes of your adult pets maps how to set up your different areas in the maps what are they for and to design the overall terms or topics of your adult pets maps so we already go through these three examples yesterday and also my tutorials and uh, maps not not a game but tutorial maps so um again this one is a whole city with the term of a bear a yellow bear the whole teddy city this one is an island with uh different babies that you can select this one is a village that have uh, a lot of interesting things like feed the chicken fishing oh wait fishing is here so a lot of things to do and also have a lot of different babies so yeah there's different term to each adult pets map and so if you want to build your own adult pet maps of course you want to create it first and yesterday class i already showed you guys how to set up the setting for the adult pet maps so today let's go straight into how you can build up your adult pet maps from the ground right let's say you have the top base of the maps ready and like i said you can do anything it doesn't have to be dy characters or humans as a pet, you can think of anything like dragons, if you like dragons, if you like Pokemon, put Pokemon in, if you like uh, Unicorn, put Unicorn in. Um, so you have to think of a term first. You have to think of what type of pets you will have in your adult pets map first. And then from that type of pets, you will think of the environment you will build for that pet. Alright, so uh, again, uh, usually what I recommend you to do, if you don't have a clear idea of the uh, overall um, topics or term for your maps yet you go to google summer and ask for um, recommendation i will show you guys how to build the pet adopt maps from the base so here's what you need so the first thing you need is a house a pet house or an area to select or buy pet so you just build up a pet house uh, for example, something like this. So maybe I use the wood to build a pet house. Then I just make the um, interior here empty so that it is a house. It's, it's not just a block, so I need to make this part empty. I um, also need to put in the floor. This is just an example. You guys can come up with different design for the pet house. Um, depend on what the term you pick is. Um, as you can already see from the lecture maps, there was an island house, there was a village house, and there was even a huge bear pet house design. Depends on how creative you are, you can do anything. The more creative you are, the, the more points you get um, when the judge um, score your maps later on. Alright, I need to uh, fix the timer and this. Alright. Alright, let's say this is a pet house that I have. So, uh, once you have the pet house, you want to decorate it a bit. How can I decorate this? Uh, let's go with this. So usually, um, um, I'm not the best when it's come to um, like house building and stuff like that. But, uh, like I said, you can always look up for Google and see some design and trying to uh, not copy but like um, work on it to the detail that you got from the internet and it will turn out to be something good. So yeah, even if I'm not the best at building this, uh, I still can build some decent house and stuff like that when I look up on the internet and find some design that I need. Alright, so um, the quickest ways I, I would recommend doing this is always use the Terran editor when you are building. So the, the more you, you use it, the more you get used to using it. And the faster your progress will be, like building maps and having these tools is just very convenient, so convenient. Just like that, you save a bunch of time just using these tools over and over again. You can even do things like this. So just copy a, a, a bigger portion of the uh, of the view and then just pass it like this. So you make everything a lot faster. 
so again this is just an example uh, make sure you came up with your own term your own pet design by the end of the class of uh, today class you should have the clear idea of what you should build all right so the first thing you need to have is a pet house so that would be where the player choose their pet okay so inside the pet house you can put different pets that you can choose and maybe a shop that you buy stuff for your pets or uh, your developer stuff if um developer shop if you have one and decorate it so that is the first area you can set up the second area you want to set up is the house area so now you technically have to build a, a style of house so depends on the term maybe you build a modern house maybe you build a village house or even an island house depend on what term you are building so let's say you build a house like this and then you just copy it to three or five house in your map so that player could go around and pick the house they want to uh, buy or live in later on this is a uh, like an essential part of the adopt pet um topics so you have to work you have to be, buy your own house and then you have to decorate it later on so for example i have uh all right now i have to build the um the top of it again all right so for the house like i said you don't have to necessarily build um, different design for different house you can use one design copy it to different destination or you can use one design and change the color of the house so yeah there's many ways you can do it and if you already see the uh, lecture example maps you will see that uh, we use the same house design but then we uh, switch the location so based on where the player want their house to be they can pick the location that uh, they think it will suit um, their house best um, this is just not a very good house view in general but hey this is just an example I'm so sure that you guys can do much better than this and yes you guys have a lot more times to prepare for the uh, creation so uh, after yesterday uh, class you can already start building your adopt pet maps so yeah you have until um, the end of the live class and then you have another two weeks to finish your creation so yeah just uh, take your time and make sure you had everything in blue in your adopt pet maps to get the maximum score of the event right right so for example we have a house like this and then you can just copy the whole house and you put it into different destination so the player can pick where they want to live uh, so I copy the whole thing like this like I said, you can build a whole city, an island, village. Depends on what your terms of a uh, game will be. Alright, so let's say I put one house over here. Let's say I put another one over here. So it depends on where the player wants to live. They can pick the house they want to live in as well. Oh my god. <laughs> I just slipped my hand and that, that one just sunk onto the route. Okay, that's good. Alright, so when you have the house, Okay, so first you will have the uh, the pet house to select pets right here, and then you have a house, many house, three to five house, and you set it up in one different area. This one in another area, and then you need to set up the area for different mini game that you have. So again, this is the uh, pet area that you choose pets, and you maybe you pay, you be able to play. You can play with your pet or go around in a park something like that to role play with your pet an area for the house that you can buy you can decorate and then one area for mini games and works so for example this whole area is for mini games and work that you can do to get money in the, the adopt pets games so for example this whole area right here is for working and it doesn't have to be one type of mini games. The more mini games you have, the more creative your game is, the more points you will get. So let's say you, I have one type of works here, like fishing or something. This is one area for the mini games. And let's say I have another type of works. I can set up another area for that works or that mini games. Maybe right next to it, maybe uh, far away if you have some more environment 
you can separate the areas maybe uh, this one is another area for mining or something depend on different kind of mini games you can build up different areas for the uh, work type or mini games in your maps and so that's just basically the three important essential area that you need to have in your adopt pet games again the pet house for buying things and adopt your pets then the house area to buy a house and to decorate your house with furniture later on if you work and you have money for it and then one area or multiple area for mini games depend on how many different works type or mini games you have you can have different area for that as well um, and maybe a, a zone that you can actually play with your pet role play with your pets like a park or something that will be also very creative and you will get more point for it and so that's basically the base of the adopt pets maps so further on you can add in trees decorations so again you can build your own decoration or you can always go to the, the library here right here to get some models for free or sometimes with mini beams very easy to get and you can get a lot of cool things here that you can decorate your your own maps with it depends on what you need there's different kind of categories uh, like for example we have a house appliance here that you can use to actually uh, sell in the adopt pet maps to decorate your own house in the games so these are all the items you can get here for free this one looks very nice you can always check what it looks like before you download it so yeah very convenient this is always a function that i recommend using all right so decoration wise you can build your own you can use this library and for environment decoration uh, make sure you apply the terrain editor here so for example you can always use this terrain editor to build quick uh, environment for example you can build um, you can build mountains or rocks walls like this if you have some kind like, of uh, terms that need this kind of uh, environment you can always use the terrain editor for uh, this type of work if you need something like a huge tree um, you can also do that with the terrain editors by using different kind of shapes um, maybe this one so for example you do something like this you make it like this and then you just for example this is just an example <laughs> i know for a fact that this doesn't look even close to a good view but hey um just an example of how you can use the terrain editor very fast um, so for example if you want to be a tree you can always use the terrain editor dang it <laughs> i need to uh look at the sideway as well something like that that's also counted as a um a decent tree right yeah i mean it doesn't have to be perfect all the time so um when i start building things i used to have this idea that i have to get everything correctly so there will be no imperfect parts but hey you have to think that everything uh, like in the world is is just natural setting up nothing is actually perfect so it's okay to have something that doesn't look very uh, fit on both sides anything like that but still it still works for games as long as you have a lot of um, good builds environment builds and decoration it will be fine it will absolutely be fine all right so that is the base setup for the uh, adopt pet maps um, make sure you have the pet house areas to buy a pet and all this stuff in the games the working areas with different mini games to work on and the house area to buy house and buy furniture and then you have all the terrain you can set up decoration you can set up as well so that should be the base of your pet uh, adopt pets maps um, again i will go through the uh, examples to show you exactly what i meant by different errors in the maps you, you have a clear idea of what you need to do so first is this map from the vietnamese lectures this is so far the, the most invested one of the adopt pet uh, topics all right so again this is the base area where you get pets and buy stuff so this is the this is the best not the best the pet house of this map um and also we have the house area right over here this is the house area where you can buy house in here 
as you can see the house are identical but in different colors so yeah inside the house it will be empty because people will buy uh, um, decoration and furniture to put in later on but you can set up the design of the house whatever you want modern or anything okay so decoration wise as you can see we have sakura trees very nice and then we have the uh, pet house again and then the uh, working areas in these maps um, if you already see yesterday's room you know that they have um, a beach behind us and you have a medium to five pair to get money so that's one area for working and I believe this is also another area for working where you have to collect eggs to get some money oh my god oh my god now I'm stuck how do you get up here okay just asking I know that it was it was my fault because that was absolutely stupid to just jump down the river and get stuck but hey uh, let's see if I can actually get out of here. Nope. Looks like I'm stuck forever. Um, can I just jump down the dinosaur like this? No. Oh, come on. Please? Oh, never mind. I did it. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's look for the uh, walking errors that I saw yesterday. Oh, here, here it is. So this is one mini games area in deep maps. So so far, I see two mini games areas. This X thing and that bitch that you collect here. So that's them. There could be more because the map is kind of huge, and I haven't explored everything yet. So that is the first map example. Um, the second map example is the Thai lecture maps, and you can clearly see, easily see because it's it's like a whole island. Everything is clear. Alright, so the first thing is the pet house. All right, so this is the pet house where you have all the pets right here. So the pet house is always the biggest house in the map. Alright, so this is the pet house in this map. And then you have the, um, I believe this is one working area that you do something fishing to get money. Um, there's also a lot of chests around. This is a boat for something that I haven't figured out because there's no English here, but uh, that should be one area for something. This is a fishing area. Also a mini games area, I think. Uh, wait, where am I? And there is this house over here that you can buy uh, stuff to build your own house on the island. <laughs> oh yes, yeah, so this this actually very interesting because there's no house that you can unlock uh, directly here, but you can build your own house by buying blocks. I believe that's the case because you can literally buy different kind of blocks and building tools here. So yes, you can build your own house on this island. So that's a, a very cool thing, very unique thing to have. But like you see, as you can see, even if there's no house here, overall the design of the environment of the Thai lecture is just so good. Like the whole island and trees. And the build style of the house here just make you feel like you're on an actual island. There's no flaws. There's just no flaws to the environment in this map. Right, so that should be the second example. And the third example is, of course, the Chinese lecture maps. Um, I believe I saw a lot of mini games era in this one and a lot of house around the, the village as well. And so again, this is the uh, pet house always the biggest house and always the the place where the players swarm at the start this is the pet in the maps so as as i say yesterday you need to have at least uh five pet that is the minimum number of course you can have more than five that would be great that would be more point for creativity and work so this is the pet house um i believe these are okay, these are not the house that you can buy all right these are the houses that you can buy so as you can see there's a key icon that you can uh, buy to get in right now you cannot get in yet so as i see there's a small one there's a big one so you can actually choose if you have more money you can buy the big house that's very nice okay so for the mini games errors in this one there's one right here um i think it's collect watermelon or something there's a quest net uh mobs or NPC right here you can talk to the NPC to know what you're doing again there's no english so i'm not sure what i'm doing but if you're a Chinese player, make sure you uh, check it out. There's another area here. Maybe this is for 
mining or something so not a mini game error very nice um, I believe there's also a chicken feeding error somewhere oh wait there's a, another one right here it's, it's look like fishing because you have a pause um, so that's one error so there's four four different mini games in this one I think I think I saw four this is oh this is this is new this is like uh, collect vegetable or something so there's another one so if we include a chicken one in there will be five different error for mini games in this one there's a lot of house you can pick in here although they um, technically looks kind of the same but they have different size and different location you can pick to live in oh and this is a chicken mini games so yeah maybe collect chicken eggs oh yeah so there's all the example from the lecture maps um in my maps i don't have an actual gameplay so i cannot give you an example but i also set up different areas as you can see um right here this is the pet house right here so this is the pet house where you pick your pet in so it should be a biggest house and these are the house you can select the pet house for the pets and the um house that you can live in and you need a key to actually go in right now i can't go in because i don't have a key and then these these are the uh, mini games or the work type i include in my map so this is it's just a pearly example um maps it's not an actual game so there's not a lot of environment view as you can see so these three essential errors you need to have and maybe another area that you can just role play with your friends or your pets so yeah um i will show you more details the trigger for these worlds or mini games and how you can set up your pets your house furniture triggers in later on class and so yeah that should be the contents for today lesson